Hi, I'm Wilmer Compagnoni. And I'm William Mack. And we're here to talk to you about one of the most common uses of capacitors, decoupling. Decoupling is used for regulated supplies such as this one here on the screen. And the purpose of a regulated supply is to maintain a constant voltage output regardless of how much load there is on this line. Whenever a load suddenly appears on the line, that causes a transient. That transient causes this 1.5 volts here to slump down a little bit. And sometimes that can brown out your supply or maybe even reset the entire system. So William, what are some of the ways we can mitigate those unwanted effects? Yes, we could use decoupling caps or bypass caps. And over here we can see what looks like bypass or decoupling caps. So typically they'll be connected to ground just like you see here. But in this case it's meant for input and output filtering. So this isn't what we're looking for. So we keep looking through the schematic, we'll find somewhere where they are actually being used. So in this section, you can see that there's a huge bank of capacitors, okay. 10 microfarads, 10, 0.1, 0.1, 0.1, and onward, so forth. There's a lot of them. Why do we have so many? So we have a lot because each individual VDD core pin here needs to have their own decoupling cap in order to supply power when it, need it, when it needs it. So you'll see a dip in voltage, and these, power, these things will help you supply power during those times. Now, typically, there's a mixture here. So the smaller capacitors will uh, help with the faster transients, and the bigger caps will help with the slower transients or the lower frequencies. So why can't I combine 10 of those 0.1 microfarad capacitors and just use one 1 microfarad capacitor? Because when you put it in parallel, you get a lower overall ESR, and then that, that'll help get more efficient power delivery for whatever pin you're using. So let's use KSIM, our simulation tool, mm -hmm. to take a look at what the impedance and ESR response looks like for one of these capacitors. And you can see that a 0.1 microfarad capacitor is only effective over a small range. But if we were to combine that with a 10 microfarad capacitor, you can see that its effective range has become much wider now. That's a good point, Wilmer. So this topic can be, there's many methods to do this, um, but this is just one approach you can take. So if you have any comments or you have your own opinion on how to properly decouple, then leave a comment below. Thanks for joining us and let's continue our conversation online. And you can head to our newly redesigned engineeringcenter.com and follow us on our social media platforms. And so this is our message from Cake and stay curious. <laughs>